Hi there guys, Dan from GuitarLessonCentral.com here and today I'm working with the guys from Riff Station to bring you some free videos. Now, in this tuition video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play like Eric Clapton in five minutes. So obviously, you know, there's a lot more to his playing than what I'm gonna show you here, but it's intended as a good starting point. I'm gonna show you a lick and I'm gonna give you a few ideas as to how to get his sound and then you're gonna take it from there. So learn what you can from this and then move it along. We're gonna start by looking at the lick. Okay then guys, so let's go through this lick. Now, this is all in the style of Mr. Clapton and therefore we're really quite smoothly linking pentatonics. So we're talking about cream era Eric Clapton, which is, which is hands down my favorite era of Eric Clapton. And therefore I've got a bit of a woman tone going on where I've kind of used the, the bridge pickup um, and rolled off the tone quite a lot to get this kind of uh, vibe. <laughs> which for me is, is similar enough to kind of get away with it. A bit of a Marshall amp going in the background. Certainly I don't have the two by uh, four by 12 stacks, but um, you know, we get away with it. And the lick is in the key of A minor using the A minor pentatonic, okay? And it goes like this. The starting lick is this. So what we've got is shape, shape one pentatonic and I'm going to do a quick hammer on and pull off five to seven back to the uh, seventh fret of the D string and then I'm going to hammer on and slide into shape two and then when I get to the nine I'm going to play it again grab the eighth fret if they join together that's cool eighth fret and then slide back that's very clapped in that slide, that kind of quick bluesy slide. Okay, and then off to the five. And then finish by seven, five, seven. Okay, so I'll do that again. Okay. So a very smooth link between the major, uh, sorry, the, the pentatonic shape one and two. And that slide, obviously all the great blues guys do it, but you know, with this sound, with that much distortion, it just sounds so clapped to me. Now then we do a little bit of a bluesy thing and we hammer on from the five to the six, which is the minor third to the major third. Very typical in a blues scenario. And then I'm gonna go down fifth fret, fifth fret, Okay, so that's B string, E string, and then slide from the 8th fret into the 10th fret, putting me in my pentatonic shape 2, and then finish on a little quarter bend, half step bend on the 8, which again basically takes it up to a little major note. Okay, like this. If you can, if you can find time, get a bit of vibrato in there for real kind of genuine Clapton effect. And then on the bend, make sure you go up kind of, it's a bit of a weird one, but you kind of go up slow and then all of a sudden really fast and stop the note. So I'm going slow, fast and stop. <laughs> Do you hear what I mean? It's kind of like someone's falling off a cliff in slow motion and then suddenly it goes into super fast motion and they fall down, <laughs> essentially. That's the kind of sound I'm picking out and hopefully that kind of makes vague sense to you. And then we're gonna jump right up to the pentatonic shape four and do this very aggressive. And here what we're doing is basically grabbing the E string and the B string, 15th fret on the B string, and I'm bending the B string and keeping the E note here. So we kind of, this bends up to an E whilst we're holding an E here, getting this sound. Very dissonant. You kind of don't want to quite get it right, if you see what I mean. You don't want to quite get it perfect. Just, just slightly out of tune with each other. 
You do it three times, and then on the third time, you just take the bend by itself and go up, down, off to the 13, okay? Back to the 15, and then here we are on the 14th fret, okay, of the G string, like this. And then you either finish on the 14th fret, which is the root note, so that would end it, or give it a little, again, bend, kind of little quarter half bend on the uh, C note, which is up here on the B string, 13th fret. So that lick. Okay. Or. To end it. So all together, we've got the first one. Into the little bluesy bit. And then the aggressive. And there we have it. Okay, so if I was to pick one thing about Eric Clapton that, uh, that I think could be immediately useful to make you sound like Eric Clapton, it's those links across the pentatonics, okay? So in the worksheet, I've given you an example of a kind of linking pattern like, like this. And you can hear that sounds quite Clapton already, right? And it, for me, it's the link between the um, minor third sliding through the four and into the five. So this. Okay, and you do that across the fretboard. Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere across the fretboard, that's the linking pattern that I've shown you on, on the worksheet. That's the note you're gonna slide through every time. And by doing it, you get quite a genuine Clapton vibe, I think, it's sliding on the way up like that, but also down. Where you kind of always don't hear the note in the middle, if you see what I mean. Um, and that's a really good start, okay, in the minor pentatonic, learning that kind of linking idea. And then, of course, gradually you'd work that up to adding the major pentatonic and learning some more kind of in-depth blues sounds. But as far as the kind of big bluesy rock vibe of, the, of Cream in that kind of era, that's going to go a long way to help.